So, I'm unsure if you're even interested in listening to my stories, but over my short few years on this earth, I've encountered events that could be considered funny, sad, or even eye-opening. And to be honest, I've been itching to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, I have no friends, so you guys will have to do. So sit back and relax and prepare to... enjoy? I don't know. So, back in the day, I used to be extremely active in the Brony community. Rather, it was my first YouTube videos, which were about MLP, to chatting on forums, to even hosting a successful radio show and livestream I was in. And... From my three years of service, I actually have a few stories I can tell from my experiences within this community. Now, with this background, I guess I could start telling the juicy bits. When I was younger, probably about a year ago, I was hosting a radio show called That Brony Show, the same as my original YouTube channel. And on this channel, all I would do is, well, make live podcasts and talk into a mi microphone about the magical colored ponies and that do that for about an hour to a half hour. The show itself was actually rather popular, getting interviews and, well, getting what needed to be done to get views. We also got several interviews of higher, more well-known bronies, such as, you know, Wooden Toaster and all that fun stuff. I think the highest we ever did was around 200 viewers live at a single time, or maybe it was 90, it's been a while. It was one to do. Either way, I hosted a rather popular radio show that was able to stand on its own. However, of course things got in the way of this. What things you may ask? Politics! Yes, I love that thing, the politics, the thing that everyone likes because it creates drama in many communities, and essentially, first off, what happened to me and my co-host, the pony co-host number one, which is well come for now on because fuck it I said so, me and him got suspended for about a week, which was kind of bullshit when it first happened, and at the time, and well, basically time went by, and basically we started the show again after we got, well, suspended. I can't remember for what reason, however, from what I remember, the reason was rather minute, I guess. Anyway, then we started doing our show again, and we did our best to host the best show we could. Then we got into our heads to reading a clock fiction on air, which was a great idea. Actually, technically it should have been fine. You know, let me explain. In short, we had permission to read a raunchy story on air. I got permission from Mr. Wubba Dub Dub and Stoner Cookie Person because I want to protect their identities on the internet, so let's continue with that who were my station owners at the time. So I went on air with Stoner Cook Person and Pony co-host number one, and we begun to read. Now, let's step, a step back in time a little bit. That day was the same day we were partnered with something known as Everfree Radio. For those of you who are not a brony, Everfree Radio is the biggest radio station by far, and Definitely having them on board to help us would have been great to boost our viewership, yeah! So we had a few of their DJs on board helping us on our, basically our radio stations, and um, a few of their bigwigs were watching some of our content. Here I am, reading in a Batman Voices, and then Applejack started getting out by, and no sooner than I said that, my station owner, American Eagle, spams my inbox saying, shut that shit off. So I stopped right then, right there, and I said, hey guys, thanks for listening, gotta go, okay, bye. And that instant, I was scared shitless. Our station owner, uh, stoner, well, stoner cook guy, had to go and basically talk to the network owner who was basically the lording manager of all the station owners who manage all the content creators. And, of course, though I had full permission from every source, whether it be from Mr. Web Dub to the station owner to actual admins on the administration board, I got all the blame for it. And essentially, I got another two, one to two weeks suspension. Bullshit to the max. However, the idea was bad, and essentially reading smut on air was a bad idea to begin with, so I guess I can see why. However, life went on and days went by, and to be honest, I got fed up with Mr. Wubba Dub Dub and the Stoner Cook guy as of this point, so 
I also started to notice something, a bit of animosity from the two. So essentially, I started inching my way to another station that I happened to be part of the network. And eventually I quit on not the best terms. It was the Lunaris Radio name change fucker it because we gotta protect the names of the innocent I met up with my new co-host Mr. Muffins and from that point on we started something called Head Cannon Saturday which is a show where we discuss the lore in way too much detail and Lunar Fever which was a great podcast where we did much of the same thing it was fun I enjoyed myself however our good friend politics would have none of that so here's what happened in short of it Mr. Wubba Dub Dub was a drama queen homosexual stereotype, and I'm not dissing on homosexuals or anything like that, but you know those stereotypes that hom- what homosexuals are. The ones with the high-pitched voice, very feminine ways of speaking, and very pitchy ways of acting. Yeah, that was Mr. Wubba Dub Dub, and that's how he decided to act, so essentially he would make a mountain out of a molehill out of any situation we had, which, to be honest, drove me up a wall and I simply couldn't handle it anymore. I was about one to two years younger from what I am now, and I probably didn't handle all the situations in the best way. He and I had issues, and simply, he did not like the fact I left the station and did not enjoy my show, so essentially we had a few altercations, things escalated a few times, and he decided to blame me for every little minute detail of anything that went wrong ever. So, my owner, uh, the pony of the bronies who happened to be of the dragonborn variety, talked of him. That did nothing, and eventually his bitching in the admin's chat caused me to be removed from the station, along with my co-host. Now, what happened to prompt that was, well, my co-host essentially heard from, well, heard from me that another guy was basically bashing him in the old radio chat on Skype, which was indeed happening. I mean, like, I wasn't lying. Someone in the other chat was essentially basically calling him a dickbag McWeedy pants, and I was in a chat with him, and I happened to passively mention it to him. And, to be honest, that spurred this drama. It was, it, to be honest, that was not meant at any bad intent. He did not take it well, and basically told a person to go die in a hole, as well as other things that, well, was very controversial. That was the way Mr. Muffins acted, and that's, well, what eventually led to me and him getting fired for all this fun stuff. The whole set of the stations at the time were full of a bunch of nut jobs who could not handle drama properly, but then again, I was rather young and naive, so neither could I handle it properly. And it led to a clusterfuck that eventually led me to swear off radios forever. I worked with them a bit after that on a few projects that eventually failed, but we did some good things like help get covers for our artists and stuff like that. And, you know, this caused me to open up my horizon, expand my mind past bronies, and eventually I started doing gaming podcasts, which finally led me to this channel, Creepy Pastas. So now you know my backstory. I hope you enjoyed my new show, and in future, I would love to do much, much more. And let me know in the comment section what do you think. However, if you don't like this, then you can just go tell me to fuck off and I'll stop talking about my personal life. Goodbye. Goodbye. Love you guys.